Nick speaking and welcome to this video right this is an update on the salamanders project help the heroes salamanders as we are now calling it that is the official name um, so I'm going to show you my dread work in a minute but first of all uh, just an update on the project uh, so it's moving along incredibly well loads and loads of youtubers uh, wargamers are contributing donating models painting models converting models um, I am going to be officially launching the project on my uh, blog tomorrow on the 28th um, so yeah go and check my blog out um, I will also have a dedicated Help the Heroes Salamander page on the blog where uh, the details of the uh, project um, and then eventually where you can buy your tickets from uh, there will be a list of all the contributors on there and there will be pictures of all the finished projects um, and we do actually have one finished project already and that's from Van, Van Hammer he has an amazing looking dreadnought all completed converted painted it looks awesome so check his channel out um, links for all of these will be in the description below um, okay so that's uh, about the project if you want to get involved then please PM me or Stephen from um, Blood of the Fallen One as you're going to be your main point of contact uh, but of course you don't have to help by donating models or painting or anything like that just liking this video liking all the other project videos that you see sharing them uh, with all your pals on Facebook Twitter wherever you're you know you're going uh, just share them for us get that project out there okay so this is an update then on my dread so this was my original assault on Blackreach mounter gun uh, but I'm not going to be using that because I had a very nice little parcel from Chuffy and in there is a Salamander's Forge Weld Resin Mounter Gun, so I'm going to be using this. Um, and he also sent me some etchings, brass etchings, so I put one on here straight away. I had to strip this off because it was um, it was primed but it had a bit of chipping, so I just had to take, take the black off. Uh, but yeah, that's looking pretty cool. I've magnetised it on the other side. I've then been working on the dread itself. Just come away here. There we go. Uh, so I put one of the uh, uh, brass etchings on here. Thank you, Chuffy, for these because these are fantastic. Really, really good. And what I had to do for this one, because it was slightly big actually, I had to trim the edges off and a bit of the fire just to get it into position. Of course, put some flames on the top. And I've gone in and I've green stuffed some more of the arm uh, to again try and make the pose a little bit more dynamic. I'll come to the pose in a minute, let you have a look at that. Uh, rest of the plan for this is to have fire uh, going around his arm here and to have the salamander's um, scales actually on his leg. I'm also going to do some fire around his arm here as well with some green stuff, should look good hopefully. I've also gone in and drilled out the two bolter holes and actually on the Forge Weld one I've drilled out the, the holes of the mounted gun as well uh, just to make it look slightly nicer. Okay so let's set him up, his pose, and uh, you can have a closer look. So that's that. Uh, now his new arm which I'm going to have in that sort of upright position. So there you go, that is his pose. Hopefully you like him. Obviously he's a bit twirly at the moment, so I glue him on there, but effectively he's just charging forward. When you could, obviously as magnetised, you can have this down if you want. You can uh, just change it around, but my vision is to have that mounter gun in the upright position, like so. Look at that. Okay, oh, he's not going to be like that. He's going to be like that more, if I can get him. Ooh, balance. There you go. <laughs> See, that's how dynamic he is. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's my update. Um, like I said, yeah, hopefully you like him. Next one will be, uh, next video will be me with all the green stuff on there. So hopefully I'll have him, well, pretty much finished and glued to the base. Okay, thanks for watching. More to come.